What's going on guys and girls, my name is James, or thanks to ya, and welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon here on the fantastic Pixel Core server. How are you all doing everyone? Are you good? Yes, I am great, thank you. Super excited to be playing some more Pixelmon here for you. Uh, yeah, I've literally just been on about 10 minutes, so... If you remember to where we actually left off last episode, I was in the search for the elusive mud kit, which still, to this moment, is eluding me somewhat. Uh, very, very tricky to find one of these guys. It's, it's the age old scenario, really. When you're not looking for something, and this happens to everything in life, like either USB cables or keys or something like that, if you don't want it, it'll be there. It'll always be there. Um, but yeah, when you actually want to look for it, nah, you're going to have a bit of a problem. So, as of yet, we haven't actually found one, but uh, I just like literally slapped on me recording software here. I'm actually going to go and have a little, another little look for one, uh, which I was planning on doing off screen, but I actually just found a boss Charmander. Now, I didn't record this one, and I'm really, really annoyed because if you look in our hot bar there, we actually got four items from this Charmander. So we got ourselves a Leaf Stone, which we got quite a few of those, but always good. We got ourselves a Rawsberry, another Metronome, and dun, 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 dun. yes we have our very first master ball here which is really really awesome um, because this is the first master ball we've ever had and I could do with this probably hopefully if we do bump into another legendary we do have a master ball here so uh, with the way that the server works you, you can't craft these or anything so they're they're only available from boss drops I don't know if that's the same on normal pick someone I'm not too sure it might be um, but yeah that's the first one that I've ever had so super super excited by that yes we got our first master ball so that is pretty cool uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd jump in here quickly. Look at these routinis. This is exactly my point, right? What I said a couple of minutes ago. When you don't want one, they're everywhere. But when you want one, ah, you're not going to find one. You are not going to find one. Just a couple of routinis, Jay, chill in here. Uh, can you remember the search I had for a routini? It took me like an episode and a half to find one of these damn things. Uh, as soon as you don't want one, do the pop-up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But I guess that's Pixel Mon. So, uh, yeah, as I kind of mentioned, since the last time we have been recording, I have been searching high and low for uh, another Mudkip, and as of yet, no dice. Uh, so I've kind of been walking around here doing some bits and pieces. Jeremy has fainted, unfortunately. I have been using him for quite a bit of sort of grinding and stuff. Uh, he does bump into a lot of things on his travels, so I've been using him quite exclusively uh, to try and get him up a little bit higher level. Really, really good Pokemon, by the way. Thank you so much for the suggestions. Just the way it looks is awesome, but it's actually very, very good. I've been using Magnitude a lot because it's super effective on quite a lot of Pokemon around here, so... Yeah, really, really good. Uh, there's a few moves that it has yet to learn, which look pretty sweet, so... Look forward to that. What the hell are you, Gol oh, Golbat? Um, what was I going to say there? And uh, it's completely gone. What was I saying? What was I saying? James, think, think. No, oh, no, it's gone. Um, so yeah, anyway, I, I've been kind of looking for this mud kit because I would really like to to grab one of those bad boys. It is a rare spawn though, and I didn't really realize how rare it is. You may as well have an Electabuzz as well. That's not really kind of a plan that I was gonna be using, but I thought that we'd catch one. So just in case, uh, when we when we meet one of the other guys on the server, um, then we can trade it using the electrolyzer, and then we can get the elect something or other elect. The, I, I want to say electric, but electric sounds like an electronic bicycle, so I don't think it's that. Um, but yeah, in other news... Oh, God. <laughs> I've seen it many times. It still makes me chuckle. Um, but uh, yeah, so as I kind of mentioned, I've been looking around here. Now, the mudkips apparently... Oh, why am I using this electabuzz? I don't really want to, but I might as well. Swift never misses. Yes, critical hit, critical hit. There we go. So these apparently these they spawn in the uh, the the swamp biomes, and they spawn also in the river style biomes. But I think they only spawn at a certain time of day. I literally cannot remember what time I last saw this mud kit, but it was very very small. So I'm starting to worry that this may be slightly more difficult than first anticipated, um, which is slightly concerning. Let's. Um See, I want Jeremy to fight because he is the lowest level and I don't want to push up my other ones too quickly because if it gets to level 60, we have the rotation policy. So these guys are getting pretty close. So I think Mudkip will be my next one. And then, of course, we are always open to suggestions for, for new Pokemon that you think I should catch. So, yeah, they don't have to be necessarily the best Pokemon, but if they look cool and if there's something a little bit different, something that you don't normally see uh, in, like, Pixelmon Let's Plays and stuff, basically, that's kind of the, uh, the brief as to what what I would quite like having in my team. So, um, yeah, I think, unfortunately, at the moment, my search is pretty much in vain. 
um, because I am not seeing any form of mudkip, which is a bit gutting. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, head back and heal Jeremy. And I'm actually probably going to come back here, to be honest with you, and have a little search. Maybe in the daytime, because so far, I think the nighttime, I don't think it spawns at night. Um, from what I've read anyway, I think it kind of spawns when the days and nights are transitioning, which makes it a little bit more tricky, to be honest with you. But what can you do? These things are big. Like, I quite like these in a weird way. They're level 51, so they're, they're by no means like a low-level spawning thing. Um, that one's level 42, but... They look pretty cool. Yeah, I'm kind of looking for some cool looking stuff. Uh, and as well as that, oh yeah, as well as that, we do also need to, uh, we've got loads of, um, what are they called? Thingamajigs. Sugar cane still. So we can use those to make our uh, thing. What was I saying? The, the bookshelves. Yes, the bookshelves. We can make the bookshelves and then we can use those to enchant some stuff. I really want to enchant the boots I've got on here because uh, I'd really like some maybe feather falling enchantment. So I don't really know if I'm going to get one. I can just whack on like a high level because we do have 36 levels here. So it'd be pretty cool to get feather falling. That's the only real thing that damages me is when I'm jumping off a tree house. So uh, yeah, feather falling enchantment would be pretty sweet. Let's actually run back to the house here because the thing about, right, this is one of the things about pick someone that I love. It's that if you're playing like a normal Minecraft Let's Play, so it might be a modded one or it might be a vanilla one or something like that. When you're actually going to run back to the house, it's going to be exactly the same as how you left it with, with, with maybe a cheeky little creeper there every now and again. But it's going to be pretty much the same thing. Well, in Pixelmon, you never know what you're going to find. So you could find a boss or a shiny or just millions more Magikarps, which is a nice little use of the letter M. Um, what the hell are you? Zoroa? Ah, I've seen Zoroa quite a bit, but I haven't seen Zoroa. Quiet. Um, Alright, we're going to have to get... Should we get Dragonite out? Yeah, let's get Dragonite out. No one's gonna mess with Dragonite. Oh, and as well as that, I actually saw a um, a Pichu, which I haven't seen a Pichu, I don't think. Uh, and uh, I got out, I think it was like level 50 odd, and I managed to, well, basically I killed it in one hit, which was a bit gutting, because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go and soften this Pichu up a little bit. It could be pretty cool, you know, something that you don't see too often. I might show show the, uh, the, uh, the ladies and gents, and I'd killed it. Um, so, so that was a bit of a shame. Um, is that a wild Gyarados? Really? Do wild Gyarados exist? No way! Ah, it is a wild Gyarados. I don't, didn't realise wild Gyarados spawned. Blurp! Yeah, level 24 Gyarados. So it's just a normal Gyarados. I don't even know why I did this. Let's just kill it. Why would I earthquake it? Well, I've not really got much of a choice, but an ice beam will do. I didn't mean to earthquake it. Well, I did, but that was a terrible idea. Um, oh, I didn't realize Gyarados spawned. That's cool. Yeah, you live, you learn, eh? You live, you learn. Hmm. One of the ones that I really, really like, and I think it's actually been suggested, is to try and get a Phoebus. But I don't think you can get those in Pixelmon. At least this version of it, I don't know. Like, there is, uh, like, the Super Rod and stuff, but the Super Rod ca currently can't be crafted. So... Effectively, like, I can't use a super rod, I can't make a super rod or anything like that. So there are some certain ones, like Dratini is found on a super rod, I think, occasionally. But yeah, I'd love a, uh, a Phoebus so I can get a, I think it's a Milotic. Or a Milotic. I used to call it a Milotic, so close enough. Um, but yeah, that would be really cool to have one of those. But I don't think it's actually in it, so that's a bit of a shame. I do remember, like, spending hours. I'm sure everyone has done this as well, if you know what I'm talking about. But the Phoebus was quite hard to get. Hello, who are you? Ah! A pin plop! Oh, we could have a little... We could have a... A, a penguin, yes. Oh my god, we're going to have to catch this guy, aren't we? Don't use that master ball, James. Oh, I came very close then. I came very close to using that. Oh my god, okay. Have a little drink. I haven't seen a pinplot before uh, on the server. Oh, that could be a really good one to evolve, actually. So, this could be fun. Like, we could potentially... We I still do want to get that mud kit, but at the same time, I really like penguins. So, this could potentially be very cool uh, to have this guy. So, I'm guessing it's like water and ice. Man, he's a, he's a tough little individual, isn't he? Um, have we got any dive balls? Yeah, I've got some dive balls. I've actually found that finding like the, the starter ones are really, really hard to catch. I don't know if this is deliberate. It probably is, right? But I think a couple of episodes ago, or an episode ago, I told everyone that I was trying to catch a... Uh, it was one of the green fellows that lives in the jungle. And I just could not catch this thing. I, I threw like 40 Pokeballs at it. 
would not have it. It would not have it at all. I put it to sleep and all this stuff, but it's just, it was mad. So I actually gave up on it and killed it um, just out of sheer spite. All right, we're going to have to try a different tactic here. Let's get Brian out. Brian, and let's hit it with a hypnosis. So hopefully if we can put it to sleep, it might be a little bit easier to catch. Uh, let's try a luxury ball. Why not? I really like the luxury ball. I want to catch some stuff in it because then you can actually see the luxury ball on the um, on the thingamajig when you're when you're healing them up. Come on, man! I don't want a timer ball. I don't even mean to click that. You know, I'm just gonna chuck balls at it and hope for the best. One and two shakes, and damn it! <laughs> Why is it so hard to catch? It's insane. Um, I guess the only thing to do is really just keep chugging balls at it and see what happens. That just broke out in like seconds and it's asleep. Why is there no logic to this? I think the starters are harder to catch. I don't know about you, um, but I think they're definitely harder to catch. So, right, what I'm going to do here. All right, if this doesn't work, I'm going to stop recording here and just keep chucking balls at it because this could take some time. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, all right, okay. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to try and catch this guy. I'll see you guys in a sec. Yay, I got him. So as you can see there, Piplup has been captured and transferred to your PC. So what we'll do here is we'll run back and um, I think it would be a good idea to, uh, there's a Monf little minky thingamajig, Chimchar, not Monferno. Oh, well, it's running to me now. I don't really want a Chimchar. Do I have a Chimchar? I'm going to kill it anyway. <laughs> I have a penguin. There's no space for you, monkey man. All right, so we're going to run back. We're going to put Electabuzz in the box here. This is, I didn't really, I just thought I'd catch it because it kind of looked cool. Um, so hopefully we can use the Electabuzz at some point to get the, the fancy one because we do have the Electrolyzer. Um, mm. But yeah, this would be cool. So I reckon what we should do is we should stick our XP share on uh, the Piplup and uh, let's get Jeremy to sort of grind it out. Hopefully we can find something pretty high level and then we can actually power level it up a bit. So I think we could evolve it one stage, like pretty much now actually, see what it looks like. Uh, let's head back to... Head back to base here. I'm uh, just growing some wheat here for no reason. Uh, Rapidash, wow, I'll check you out. You're some big boys. All right. Yeah, the, the wheat grows really, 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 really slowly on the server. I don't really know why, to be honest. I have five pieces of wheat for um, a, a project which is top secret at the moment. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't really know why it takes so long. It's a bit odd. Um, oh, I've got. I already have an Electabuzz. Oops. Really? When did I catch that? Oh, I guess I've got two now. Fair enough. Um, so let's get a little pim plop. Blip, 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 blip. Uh, let's stick the XP share on him. There we go. Let's go and heal up. Uh, so, oh, let's go and check the stats of it. So it is actually a male. Wow, one of our things is actually a male. So this is water at the moment. Uh, it's a moves a pound growl. Solid. And it is, uh, growth is enormous. Yes. <laughs> so we do have an enormous growth one. So hopefully we should have some big old sausage penguins right now. Um, so that's that's cool. I do like an enormous growth, I must say. <laughs> All right, let's heal up here. The hell are you doing in my house? This is the problem with the treehouse, right? In theory, it's a great idea. You know, you're, you're off the, the floor. So if it gets wet, it's great. All that kind of thing. It's not very friendly for pharaohs. I'm going to be honest with you. What are you even doing? How did you even get in there? I don't trust you. All right. Okay. So let's uh, let's head back down. See if we can find anything relatively high level. Uh, we do have a level five pimplup, but uh, oh wait a minute. Oh, there's Jeremy. Ooh, I got worried. I thought Jeremy had gone there for a second. Um, all right, let's try and find something that's a little bit high level. Yep, very funky looking Spiro. Normal Spiros look like this. Oh, it's a normal Spearow. <laughs> I thought it was a fancy Spearow. It was not. But you've got to keep an eye out for shinies, don't you? Yeah, that's kind of the rule. You've got to keep your eye out. If you, if you keep, don't keep your eye out, you're going to miss them. And, you know, everyone's going to be sad. So you've got to keep your eye on them. Uh, so let's, let's actually go somewhere we don't normally go that often. Let's go and check out the jungle. Because I don't think... We haven't really found many boss jungle-type Pokemon. So I guess let's head into the jungle here and see what we can find. Um... If we can find anything, of course. Let's have a little look. My favourite biome is definitely the uh, Extreme Hills biome. It has so many good things in it. Um, but I don't think we're seeing too much. There's a Scyther. I had a lot of um, suggestions for Scyther, but it doesn't evolve, does it? So I'd be kind of... I, I, I really like evolving things. I don't really know why. Oh, hello. You always have that hat on. Huh? Emerald for an iron pickaxe. Hmm. Interesting. Um, 
Let's, let's have a little look around here. But yeah, kind of like evolving things. I don't know why. I think it's really satisfying when you kind of evolve something up in it. It starts like a little print plop, and it kind of evolves into something massive. So that's a trophius. We do not want you. Hmm. Yeah. It seems that the spawn rates in the jungles are lower. I think it's because there's less like surface area for them to spawn in or something. I'm not too sure. Uh, which is definitely why I much prefer the uh, the extreme hills, because you do get quite a lot of bosses around there as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, having said that, I've, I've pretty much found bosses everywhere, but you know what I mean. Uh, right, let's have a little comb down the coast here. I don't want to kill another kingler. Like when I was grinding out that orb for um for the mortress that. We, did, we didn't catch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I had to kill so many Kinglers because I didn't realise how it worked. So instead of sort of having an orb in here, which is the Frozen Souls one, and just sort of levelling up slowly, I tried to do it all in one go. And I did actually manage it, but it, it took forever. Well, it felt like it took forever, but it obviously didn't. Yeah, I think we should head over to Extreme Hills. It's got some slightly higher level Pokemon in. Uh, hmm. 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 Hum, yeah. lum, 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 lum. Where are we going over here? Uh, anything in here? No, not really seen too much in there. Just some mage carps. Little magic carp. We need to make a, a zombie uh, Gyarados at some point as well. Yeah, it was one of the plans from a while ago. Uh, we need to make one of those. I don't think we're going to use it. I just quite fancy having one because why not? It's pretty cool. Uh, what I could do with now is actually something like a Bisharp. Uh, just something, something that packs a little bit of a punch just to get that XP. Well, this camera put might be quite high level. Let's have a look. What level are you, sir? Void through. Oh, you'll do. Blurp. Jeremy, I choose you. Fight. Magnitude. Dead. Magnitude 10. Wow. Oh. Level up. So, uh, pimple up. Uh, pin. Ah, oh, pimple up is level 7. Level 8. Level 9. Level 10. Level 11. Level 12. Level 13. 14. 15. Yes. Oh, it learns peck. Wow. Let's get rid of water sport. Uh, level 16. 17. 18. Bubble Beam. Ooh, let's get rid of Bubble for Bubble Beam. Uh oh, it's evolving. Oh, it's going to be so cute. So this should be an enormous evolution growth. But I don't really know how big this Pokemon can get. I, I don't really think it will be massive. But So I'm not too familiar with this. I think it's Empoleon, is it? Or something like that. Uh, this It won't be Empoleon now, though. It will be... What the hell is this? <laughs> Print Plop. Oh, he's so sweet. Print Plop. Print Plop. Pr pr I choose you. Ha <laughs> ha little penguin. Oh, I like you. Say something. Go on. Speak to me. Obey me. Come on. Hang on. Oh, you sound amazing. <laughs> I like you. The one problem about Dragonite is that it's got the most annoying call out ever. Listen to this. Ah, it irritates me so much. I have heard it a million times, though. I like this, though. <laughs> uh, it's my new little buddy. So yeah, I think we could have a little little go with this. I think it was actually suggested a couple times uh, that we try and sort of get some more uh, star star Pokemon in the uh, in the party. So obviously, I don't have any of the original generation, which would be cool at one point. I'd really like to try and find a Bulbasaur, but I don't really know. I've never seen one anywhere, which uh, is a bit of an issue. So oh man, there's nothing we can find here to fight. What the hell? Why are you in a spawn? I wouldn't mind power leveling up one more um, set of levels to maybe learn. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, an Agron would be cool as well. No, not an Agron. The big one. The, the big sausage. Oh, no, I don't want Prim Plub. He's going to die in a second. Right, let's get uh, Jeremy out. This magnitude move is amazing. Do you see what I mean? It's insanely powerful. Uh, bubble Beam. I just taught you Bubble Beam. I swear I taught that. Did you? I'm very confused. I am very, very confused. Hmm. Okay, well, fair enough. So we have Prinplup now, which is a uh, new member of our team, which is very, very exciting. Very, very exciting indeed. What I think we'll probably do is we'll level it up a little bit more. I might just do that in a second. And then we can actually do some fights with some uh, some fire-type gym peoples. So let's go and have a little look around here. I think this is this is going to be a dedicated episode to Prinplup here. That's, well, that's a low-level low -level Fero. Um, so yeah, we, we should have a little fight with this guy and see what we can do. Let's try and find something. Oh, Kangashkan are always good. Yeah, level 48. Perfect. Oh, why do I keep bringing Prinplup out? Go away. All right, let's hit it with the magnitude. Oh. oh. It's not super effective, but it's still pretty powerful. You can see what I mean. I really like this move. Very good. 
level 23. Uh, let's change Prinplup from the actual starting order. Oh god, come back. Let's get Jeremy in there. There we go. That looked like a shiny thing, but it's not. It's just a just a nice colour. I always think they're shinies. I don't know. I've got this shiny vision. Just because we've only ever found one in our entire time on the server. I probably... Oh god, that was weak. Oh, it was only magnitude 5, wasn't it? Hmm. So is it between magnitude, like, 1 and 10 or something? Because I've never seen magnitude 1. I've seen, like, 7, 8, 9. No, we don't want Bide. Don't be silly. Come on now, what'd you take us for? We're Pokemon Masters. Alright. Alright, All so let's get this guy up to maybe level... Uh, let's have a look at... Oh god, Jeremy might die. Jeremy, no! Uh, let's get Kyogre out. We don't really use Kyogre. Why is it on fire still? What the hell? Okay, interesting. Let's just body slam. Oh my god, I didn't even kill it. Are you serious? Oh, there we go. It's off, not fire anymore. That's really random. Hmm. You live, you learn, eh? You live, you learn. I don't really use Kyogre too often, to be honest with you. Um, let's see if we can find a fire type trainer. Let's try this guy out. So the fire types, are, I always find them. This is another situation like this. When you actually want one, nah. You ain't gonna find one. But when you, uh, when you don't want one, nah, they're everywhere. Ooh. Oh, I know what we're going to do next episode. I reckon we are going to get the uh, evolve the Eevees. Yeah, I think that's definitely what we're going to do next. We're going to we're going to get the Eevees and evolve them into the uh, the three Eevees that you can get. I think that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Aha! I have spotted a fire trainer finally. So hopefully this will be the right level. Is it level thirty two? Ooh, this might be a tough one for Primblub. Um, oh, for God's sake, this is not what I want. Stop it! Stop it! Go away, rat at it. Oh, for God's sake. So this is me losing health for no apparent reason. Let's see what we can do with Yumi here. Uh, Charmeleon. So we're going to hit her with a bubble beam. Oh, we're going to die. <laughs> this is a terrible choice, James. Why would you do this to yourself? Uh, all right, why did I head smash that? That was completely overkill. Let's just take down on them. All right, so maybe he's not quite as strong as we thought he was just yet. Uh, let's go and heal these guys. Um, so, yeah... Get rid of these. There we go. Happy days. So, yeah. This is this is quite exciting. Like, I'm looking forward to, to, to leveling up this Prin Plup. So, what I think we'll do is um, I'll probably train it up a little bit off screen. I think that's probably a good idea. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what we do just before we end this episode, actually, because I think we might be getting roughly about that time again. Uh, well, let's go and sort out our enchanting table and let's enchant our boots. That would be cool because I am. Uh, I'm kind of quite eager to get these boots enchanted, so what we need to do is uh, we need to make a lot of bookshelves, basically, which is going to be involving a lot of books, and books are a pain to make, but we should be okay. Do we have spare leather? I think we've got spare leather upstairs. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal up my Pokemons right now, bloop, there we go, and uh, I'm going to go make a load of bookshelves, and I'm going to go and stick them downstairs in our enchanting room. So I plan to kind of design the enchanting room out a bit, so get, you know, nice walls and floors and stuff like that, but for now anyway, let's just get it sorted so we can actually uh, make our boots. So uh, yeah, let me get it sorted, and I'll be right back. Okay, so yeah, I managed to get some bookshelves sorted. They take a little bit of time, don't they? Yeah, I actually... I think they're like one of the most annoying things to make because you've got to get the the, the 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 cane and then you've got to make the paper and then you've got to make the books and then you've got to make them in. And there's blah, blah, blah. But anyway, um, so this doesn't really look that great at the moment. We're going to pin this out. Trust me on that one. But uh, we're pretty much ready to do... What the hell is going on here? Um, right. Okay, let's, let's try and get rid of these from my house because they shouldn't be in my house. Why? Ugh. All right, fine. Why is it... Ugh. What are you doing in here as well? Get out! Go away. Um, let's just shut a bunch it. Boom! Let's just shut a bunch it. Why not? Ooh, Jeremy's going to level 50. Ah, Jeremy's learned Earthquake now. Interesting. Ooh, this is difficult now. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Astonish for now. Um, so anyway, we are ready to do an enchantment here on our boots. So we can actually go all the way up to level 30 on this little system. It's like a sideways one. Um, which, uh, you know, it's just pretty standard really, isn't it? Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I wonder which one it is. Let's let's go for the long one for good luck. Three, two, one. Ah, 
Yes! Yes! Feather falling. This is exactly what I wanted. Ah, oh, thank God for that. I'm really happy with that. So awesome. We managed to get exactly the right enchantment. Feather falling four on our super speed boots. Um, so we can actually upgrade these boots at some point to get to the faster ones. But I do think our run speed is pretty much perfect right now. And it does mean that I can sort of exit my house here with uh, out taking quite as much damage so very very good right so i think that's gonna be about it for this episode uh thank you so much for watching guys really really awesome if you can remember to leave a like please do that would be really really great thanks so much for supporting the series i think in the next episode we're gonna take a look into the evolutions and uh, see what we can do there i don't think i have a spare firestone at the moment so those have always been pretty tricky for me to find um, but yeah, we can certainly have a go at that, take a little look, and I'm sure there's some other cool stuff that we're going to do. So, until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure, as always, thanks. Run, see ya!